Hi, my name is Lena Dorain and I am 23 years old and I am a master student of interior design at the HKU. Uh, I am nominated today for my design project for my master course which is called Don't Be Afraid of the Dark um, and it's about reintroducing darkness into modern interior design. And I started the research one year ago actually strictly for aesthetic reasons. I was fascinated by the topic and I had studied Japanese architecture for a while and I was beginning to see the difference uh, of the Japanese attitude towards using darkness in interior design and the Western designers attitude uh, which is that the Japanese uh, like to use darkness to create different atmospheres in a space and they see the more positive effects that darkness can have on a space like uh, creating a tranquil, safe, private space. And I thought that these uh, characteristics were sometimes lost in our Western modern interior design. Well, and as I researched further into the topic, um, I was especially interested in energy saving, and it seems like we found the perfect solution for this problem with the invention of the energy saving light. Uh, which has now actually in Austria, where I come from, completely replaced the traditional light bulb on the market. So you are forced to buy the energy saving light bulb. And it's a really simple solution. You really just switch one light source with another light source and you save energy. But I found medical studies that show that the really high content of blue light waves in the energy saving light bulbs is actually really bad for a human body. So it's very unnatural light. It's hardly any of it in sunlight and uh, much less in a traditional light bulb than in, in an energy saving light or an LED. And in combination with that extreme overexposure that we are practicing every day, it is actually really, really bad for us. So I found studies that show that it can enhance and create diseases and conditions ranging from cancer to dental caries and that was what really got me starting into my final design project that was the initial inspiration for what I was doing uh, because from that moment on I decided that instead of just switching one light bulb with another light bulb what we really should do to save energy and also to become more natural and reintroduce darkness into our lives uh, is drastically reducing artificial light sources. I started researching into modern technologies that are already used uh, to create different light sources and I stumbled across the fiberglass cable. The fiberglass cable is actually a cable that we use for internet connections, um, but it's very different from our traditional copper cable that we use for electricity, where the copper cable uh, transfers electricity using electrons but the fiberglass cable actually transfers light using photons. So literally if you have a fiberglass cable and you hold a lamp to one end, the light will shine out on the other end. And from that moment on I had this idea in my head that I would reduce the light sources in your home to one single light bulb using a system of fiberglass cables that would transfer the light throughout the whole house from that one light bulb. So I started designing uh, a light system for your house, much like a water system or an electricity system that would send light through fiberglass cables through different outlets in your house. Uh, and the way it works is really all you need is a halogen spot, which would be a bit stronger than your usual light bulb. So it would be around 200 watts for a traditional Dutch row house and from that you need a parabolic mirror that focuses the light uh, into a bundle of fiberglass cables approximately 160 to 170 fiberglass cables for that size of house and the light bulb would send this light through the fiberglass cables all through your house. Now this new system will also come with some rules and limitations. For instance, the fiberglass table transfers light really, really well at a very high rate, but after 9 meters, the transfer rate drastically drops. So I realized, okay, 9 meters is the maximum length that I could use, 
and with this new limitation I also had to start changing the floor plan. So I started rearranging the floor plan, um, putting the more functional areas like your kitchen or your office closer to the centrally located light bulbs so that the light rays would come out stronger at these outlets. But also keeping in mind that these areas should be close to natural daylight so that during the day you wouldn't need the light system at all and you would have to start turning it on only later in the day. For instance, I put the office underneath the roof on the top story because this particular house has roof windows. So this is naturally the brightest space in the house, which means that during the day to work in your office you don't need any functional light at all and you will only have to start turning it on later at night. I located the light bulb centrally on the first floor so that the light cables could go up and down the staircase and distribute evenly around the space. Now this new system will also change the people behave in their house and use their space. The light system works with one light bulb only, so it's very different to the system that we have right now where we can put endless amounts of light sources into the ceiling if we want to and make the space brighter and brighter and brighter. This system only has one light bulb, so you will never get more than those 200 watts worth of light, which means that the whole 200 watts are distributed all over your house. Now if you come in into your house and you turn on the light, all the light outlets will be on, which means that the 200 watts are distributed completely evenly over your whole house. So the light outlets will shine, but very dimly, which will create a form of semi-darkness where you can still orientate properly around your house and see everything, but it will be a lot darker than what we're now used to. Then, if you want to use functional light at night, for instance, to cook or to work in your office, what you would have to do is turn on all the unused outlets and only leave on the outlets that you need for your functional work. Then, all the light from the 200 watts will run through those outlets instead of turning off in the other outlets, which will mean that these will be very bright and the other ones will be completely dark. In this way, you physically have to turn off the other outlets in order to make those two work, which means that you have to start managing your light use. You have to become aware of what you do in your own house. In the later process of this project, I also created different outlets for the system so you could create different atmospheres. For instance, I created a form of omni-light that will also use parabolic mirrors to widen the light cone again. Also an indirect light or the functional light spot that you could use in your kitchen or your office space. This way a lot of different atmospheres can be created in your home without having to use different lampshades or different light sources anymore. I feel like the most important thing about this project for me personally was that I completely changed the approach to uh, light design because instead of focusing on light I focused on the other part, I focused on the darkness and I saw darkness as being something positive and I tried to reintroduce this into the space which is something that most designers don't think about these days so I think because I had this different approach and this very different starting point I managed to create something that was quite unique and uh, that is what I like most about my project